What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, everybody? Welcome. Hey. <laughs> Welcome to One Mike Night Talk, another episode. Thank you all for joining us. It's Marco Luis, your boy here with Ashley Elizabeth Green. We're back for another episode with some grown folk talk. You've been asking us for it and now it's here. First of all, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to this podcast. Share this podcast. This podcast is available on every platform on audio. You can download it at Apple Podcasts, Spotify, you name it, Amazon HD Music. You can also watch this podcast on One Mike Knight YouTube channel. One Mike Knight is spelled O-N-E-M-I-C-N-I-T-E. Make sure you click the bell at the top because you never know we're going to drop another episode and you don't want to miss it. Right. So thank you all for joining us. We're going to dive right in. What's up, Ashley? How you doing? I'm good. Um, as you can see, I didn't talk about it last time. I'm in LA. You're in LA. I see that. You got a new location. You got a new background going on there. Yeah. What's up yeah. in LA? What's up in LA? Um, so I'm visiting friends. I'm visiting one of my best, best friends. Mm -hmm. And I am seeing his friends and things like that. And I'm just having a good time meeting different people and other artists. And I'm in um, North Hollywood. And uh, it's been great. I just got here uh, last night. So I'm here for- You ready to take the city on, I know. Oh yeah, I'm here for like- <laughs> <laughs> How's it- Oh, you're ready, yeah. what's, what's the feel of the city so far? I know you only been there for a minute. Um, what's the feel of the city? Well, I mean, of course, this is my first visit to LA. Mm -hmm. Right now, it's beautiful out here, it's sunny. Um, I won't know the feel till probably when I go out later today. Um, but it seemed like it's cool, like hanging out with people. They seem cool. Mm -hmm. um, everyone seems like they're done COVID. It's over. Um, but I'll see the fill of the city soon, probably this weekend for sure. If it's not today, just in my neighborhood, but um, for sure this weekend, I will know. But besides that, like, it's nice, you know? It is nice. I know because New York and LA have two different energies of the city, but does it feel like, like even going through the airport, do you, does it feel like old LA is back? You know, people, we still oh, we don't, don't want to talk about COVID anymore, but oh, does yeah, it feel yeah, like yeah. the restrictions weigh oh. heavy right now? I mean, you can it? tell, like, I mean, the restrictions aren't too heavy because I was on a, well, I was in the airport with my mask up, mm -hmm. but when I was on the flight and I went to sleep and I had my mask off, like no one bothered me at all. But I also think because like maybe that's just the energy I vibrate. Like, don't fuck with me. Right. Yeah. Um, you know what I mean. <laughs> um, so you know when I'm sleeping, leave me alone. Right. Um, but besides that, like I think everyone's fine. I think everyone's so ready to move on. I think so too. You know, like it's like no, it's like the worst. It's like the worst scary movie in life. And you're like, I'm done with this movie. 2020 like, to 2021, summer to summer has been. It's been like yeah, like bittersweet year oh, of our lives right it is very crazy. bittersweet very, very bittersweet, bittersweet. Yes. i feel like 2020 was like one of those things like you know how they say healing is great and you know healing wounds i feel like but too much healing becomes so messy mm -hmm. i feel like that's what like COVID is it's just like i'm done healing leave me alone right you know what i mean yeah goodbye girl yeah you know? so yeah yeah chance for you know to to time to cover up some wounds and heal and just move on yeah and that. also yeah. like i feel like healing is such a messy beautiful thing but i also feel like we're at a time now and i think that's the energy that i'm feeling from the people the new people that i'm at is that everyone's ready to have fun listen i just said this the other day someone and somebody told me this and i and i'm picking it up 2021 summer from here on is vibes it's vibes good vibes that's what everybody's doing. Good vibes right? only. That's it. Good vibes only. Yeah. That's I'm it. the same way. I'm just yeah. like, it doesn't, it's, if it's not fun, if it's, I, I tell myself, I, I mean, don't get me wrong. I laughed more. I laughed a lot and more in 2020 because I was talking to friends, you know, and things like that. But I told myself this year, I will hear myself laugh way more and do more fun things. Right. Yep. And be more spontaneous. More spontaneous. Yeah. Yeah. Because I think we had a time to reflect and figure out that we missed a lot of stuff. There are a lot of things we didn't take opportunity with. And we want to, you know, capture that stuff. We don't want that opportunity to pass us again. Which leads me into the question, what do you, 
I, I know a lot of people, you know, created businesses, created things, new, new inventions, new things happening in the last year. What do you think is success mm. for people? Mm. Wow. I will say for me, success is peace. Peace. Is peace. that what you said? I'm starting off with peace. Boom. And the reason why I say that, and some people are like, she's bullshitting. No, 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 no. Like, I'm going to just dive into COVID just one second. I say peace is, I say peace because there were periods where I was very, very happy last year, but there was periods where anxiety driven. And there's nothing worse than when you feel anxiety and you feel like your mind is like on a hamster wheel. No doubt. No doubt. Yeah. No doubt. And so when I would get out of those thoughts and have a great day, I was like, mm-mm, it starts with peace. Right. Like I We're believe my successful day is like I had a peaceful day. Cause I started noticing you take those things for granted. Mm -hmm. Cause yeah. I'm not an overthinker at all. I'm not an overthinker at all. I don't overthink things. If I have something that I'm a problem solver, that's my thing. Good and bad. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm the type of person, I hear this, let's solve it. Boom, boom, it's done. But I've noticed like what COVID did for me, it, it was like a little bit of anxiousness. And I was just like, nah, a successful day is peace. I will where, never where take was, that. Where was the anxiety coming from? Was it was it from the COVID or was it? I think it was from the COVID. I think, I mean, thank God financially, I was okay. So I'm, I was like, praise God for that. So I didn't have any money like issues at all. So praise God for that. Who praise God? Right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't say that like praise oh, God. Oh, praise. Uh, yeah, for sure. Hey, yeah, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Yep. Praise God for that. That's right. Um, Cause you know, um, but I would say the anxiousness came from a lot of things that I, I didn't really deal with, wounds I didn't deal with and other wounds when I would talk to people they would trigger something mm. and I'd be like, oh, what is that talking about? Yeah. Where is that coming from? You know what I mean? Because you'd be thinking some wounds are healed and you're like, yo, that's not healed. Right. No, no, no. Or sometimes you put it in a, I always say the box. I put things in a box, I'll deal with that later. Mm. And, and, and COVID was like, oh, no, 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 honey. I'm going to bring people to your life and they're going to open up that box for you and you're going to deal with shit. And that's how I like that because you know what you're you're a lot different than most people. I feel like you know this time that time was a lot of anxiety for people, and it was just like you said, it was a number of things. But a lot of people didn't even want to deal with it, like they couldn't deal with it. It was too much. Right. People, had, like you said, people had financial problems. People had you know the stress of COVID, not you know mm -hmm. hoping not to get it. They had other people in their family and friends getting sick. The fear of it all, you know, kind of drove right. people crazy. And then also wondering what they were going to do next because the future was so uncertain because we just had a huge disruption in the normalcy of our lives. So that created a whole nother avenue of anxiety. Right. So how do people, you know, how do people find peace? How do people find right. that, you know, that place? I think, I think for me, I have a really strong spiritual um, rituals that I do. Mm -hmm. um, and also my background is very strong in spirituality. I just think, I think what people don't understand is prayer only works when you do it and it has to be consistent. Mm -hmm. And also like, um, like, like if we talk about manifestation a lot, right? right? But before you start talking about manifestation, you have to have some type of confidence. You have to have some type of spiritual practice. So I think if before COVID, I got even, I always had a spiritual practice throughout my life. And, um, but I think, during COVID, I got even, I listen to my spirit a lot. So when I hear my spirit speaking to me, I got deeper in my spiritual practice. You know, I have affirmations. I have a daily um, journal that I write in. Mm -hmm. I have a devotional book um, um, that uh, I read every morning and I pray every day. Um, you know, I visualize things and I set my intentions for the day. And I just knew for COVID because I live by myself, I had to be more vigilant 
in my schedule so I can be sane. Right. You know what I mean? So I think I just took it a little bit more serious. But like you said, if you, that's when accountability comes in. That's if right. you don't yeah. deal with your stuff, that's fine. Your stuff's gonna keep coming. Right, yeah, yeah. It's like a storage unit. Mm -hmm. more stuff more stuff so you just I, but see i'm a type of person i like dealing with my stuff because i like having peace you know and i and that's don't i mean I'm not, i don't mean to get too spiritual with um astrology mm -hmm. but i am a pipe so at the end of the day i have to in order to go with the flow and to maneuver in this life spirituality helps me with that you know what i mean so i just had to get really really serious but i would say success yeah because i can say career i can say you know anything else but for me a really good day in my days is peace you know because i can let's just say i book something let's say i do something i can still have anxious thoughts so i just think about like what is something that is priceless for me that no one can take away is peace for me. That's why I feel like that's that's for me. Just mm. having, yeah. Yeah, I like that. Well, gosh, I don't even I don't even know what success is for me. Success is you know. Get out no, of here. I, I mean, I, I don't. I mean, it's a it's a variable of things. I think, you know, uh, in the moment, you know, I think it's having clarity. I think I feel like there's a lot of uncertainty in the direction that we're going, but having a little bit of clarity and knowing and, and being in the moment and, and knowing that you've accomplished a few things. And it, I don't mean financially, I just mean some right. of the goals that you have along the way, that's yeah. success. It's not the financial things. It's, you know, whether it's a, you know, a social issue I wanna tackle or speaking about something or standing up for something or, at, you know, advocating for something that's important. Um, that's success. If you do it, and you know, if, if you accomplish that. I like that you say that. That makes so much sense. Um, I like that. That's what yeah. I wanna... That's deep, right? Yeah, that's really deep. I'm yeah, like, I mean, I, I think a lot of people, you know, immediately go for the financial reward. But I don't think that's not success because more money, more problems. You yeah, know, exactly. Money is not but the... Also, I feel like people use success, like even that word, I feel like their success with financial, I feel like stop using the word success as temporary. I think of success like overall, Ooh. like everywhere. Yeah. You know, it's just because money is temporary. That's temporary stuff. I think of like what is success, period, that will never go old, that will never change. You mean like longevity you know I mean? in, in terms yes, of longevity. Like, like what yeah. what are you leaving behind? Did you accomplish a yeah, mission? Like, yeah. 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 Because a even if for something they, else money there's always something else I be, so I think like I said I think about like what's something someone can't take away from me and I feel like I said you can't and I've learned this people can't take peace away from you unless you allow them to unless you give them the power to that's and just like with your clarity <clears throat> no one can't take that away from you right yeah that thing need to start choosing things and be more um cognizant about it to choose words and choose things that people can't take away from you. Right. You know, and so you can own it. You know, I think- so where, where does that come from? That comes from a little bit of confidence, you know what I mean? Yeah. And standing in what you believe Yeah. is good. And also like having really bad experiences. You know, I, I noticed with me, um, and I think probably for a lot of people, um, you don't really learn until you're in bad situations. You know, don't grow from good things. Right. You confidence, but think about it. We all, but our mind more tends to lean to the bad things and you grow from that. Right. So it's just like, I just feel like at the end of the day, like that's where you grow from it. And I think that's where it comes from for me, like the bad things. And then when you make it through, you're like, oh, it wasn't, either it wasn't that bad, like you thought it was, or you're like, yo, I, I may do that, okay? Right. Or I may not do that. I ain't doing that again. Or I learned my last thing. You know what? That's <laughs> not doing? my avenue. Right. That's a dead end street. I don't go down That's there. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. That ain't my neighborhood. That's where the lesson comes from and the experience exactly. comes from. Yeah. Exactly. And that's what make that's what makes you successful. Hmm. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. But I, I'm definitely about like 
don't take stuff away from me. And, and even how we're talking, some people be like, nah, 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 nah. But I'm just like, hey, your boat is your boat, honey. Like, you know what I mean? Like, we all have to surf the waves differently. So what if you do something and you feel like it's successful and nobody else does? Um, I feel like that's when you have to have a balance of validation. You have to have a balance of like, you don't need validation in everything that you do. You know what I mean? And and just because something you do doesn't even um, provide outside validation or even monetary gain, mm -hmm. sometimes you have to do things just because it brings you peace or it just makes you happy. Right. Like, you know how it's like you have hobbies, they both probably go anywhere, do nothing, but they just make you happy. So I think you need to find that balance of like, someone might not like it or whatever, but that's okay. But it's also being comfortable in your own skin. Right, yeah. Yep. You know what I mean? Because I know, I'm, I know, like, probably you too, like, our personalities, they're probably not for everybody, you know, or they might be like, I only can take Ashley's doses, and that's okay. Right. You know what I mean? I'm not here to be your puppet, or I'm here to entertain you, you know? Um, but, yeah, I think it's just a confidence thing, and you got to get, like, you got to get so grounded in your confidence that it's like concrete. Like, no one can't move you. It got to get to that point where no one can move you. Right. You can have a little self-doubt, but it's like, you know, fix that, you know? Right. So I think, like, sometimes we as artists, you know, we, we put out a project or we do a project. Say you're a singer. You put out a, 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 a EP, an EP, a digital work or stage production. And yeah. Nobody comes to see it. Nobody sees nobody it. Nobody likes it. Nobody likes it, yeah. Is it still successful? I think it's successful if you like it. I think successful if you did something you never thought you could do. I think successful, you did that thing and you were so scared to do it, but you still got it done. Because the next project you do, that might be your blow up. Right, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Exactly. And they may look back and say, wow, how did I miss this? Or this yeah. was before it's time, or this was, exactly. like, this is really intricate. I didn't realize. Right. What it but was. I'm also the type of person um, that I have, um, I haven't always been this way, so I have become, I am becoming this way. Stop thinking about success as an elevator. You know, boop, 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 there we go. Like, it's like, easy button. Let me go to floor seven. Mm -hmm. Boop, there you go. Start looking at success and even validation or even anything, it even goes in your life. Stop looking at it as an elevator to take you from bup, bup, that fear. Like within five seconds, you hit the penthouse suite. Right. Start looking at things as stairs. One step at a time. You know what I mean? Building blocks. Building blocks. Right. Because sometimes people forget, like we're artists, right? It's not about the projects that sometimes you need the confidence in. Sometimes there's other things that you need to do, like the things we just talked about. Right, yeah. Things yeah. you don't heal. You don't heal, yep. That yeah. might be blocking what you might need. Because I even noticed with my strength, right? There's certain strengths that I always go to, right? Certain tools and toolbox. Mm -hmm. But if you don't heal certain things, there's other gifts that you have that will help you get to where you need to go. You know what I mean? Right. Everything and doesn't have to do and, with- And maybe you're, yeah, you're learning those along the way. And maybe, yeah, you're exactly. learning those along the building blocks to help you get to a certain point. Right, exactly. But that's what I was saying. You have to start using stairs, then I'm gonna, boop, go in the elevator. You know what I mean? Because that's not how life works. Think of it as the Empire State Building. You know, the elevator will take you there probably like less than like five minutes to get to the top. But if you take the stairs to the Empire State Building, the view will be what much more worth it because think about all the effort you put in there. Right, yeah. You could be like, yes. If you take the elevator, you're like, oh, take some pictures. That's pretty okay. But if you take the stairs, you're going to be like, let's sit out here for a minute. That's let's right. enjoy this. You let's, enjoy let's things absorb. more yeah. Yeah. when it takes yeah. more time. Right. It's you the know, process, the process. The process. And I've learned this from, I think you or someone else is like, enjoy your process. Yeah. Not even yeah. a journey, just be like, forget journey. Cause that's, we're always on a lifelong journey, but just enjoy the process of like, 
the universe spoke to you to get something into fruition. Enjoy the process of how you're trying to get there because you're learning more and more about yourself. Absolutely. Every you know? moment you're learning. You're learning every single every moment. moment. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah, like, you know, say if you're a, you know, you're a music artist and in that journey, you know, you're, you're creating this, you know, platinum album, but you don't know it at the time. And it's not even about a platinum album, just a solid album with good, yeah. music, good words, good, whatever it is, you know, you might be called to mix a track or you might be called to learn something about history of the music that you didn't know that's going, you're going to apply to this song I agree. to create a masterpiece. Yeah, I well, there's, agree. There's so many things in the moment. But I, but I agree, whenever you're having fun and you're doing things you love, mm -hmm. it's always gonna come out good. You know what I mean? I like, I've never seen or heard anybody saying like, I had to do this because of this. No, when you enjoy what you do and you work in your gift and you elevate your gift and, well, it elevates you in your gift, like, it's always gonna work out. You know what I mean? Like, I believe it's always gonna be so Like, even what we're doing now, it's like, like talking to my friend. Talk, right, yeah, talking to your friends, yeah. That's it. Right. You know what I mean? So. Sharing ideas yeah. and learning points of view and learning different perspectives on what yeah. we thought. Yeah, definitely. I right. just think it's one of those things like when you just, you just, but I also think sometimes things are just a different like attitude adjustment. Like sometimes I'd be thinking like to people when they tell me about certain things, I'd be like, honey, it ain't even all of this other stuff. Just change your uh, mindset. Right. Little Your attitude or change it. Yeah, that's all. Sometimes we gotta change our attitude on how we're viewing things. Mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Instead of always thinking about like, what if this go wrong? Think about it like, where's everything works out? What if it goes right? Yep. What if it goes right? Where's it works what if it goes out? Right. What happens what you didn't think you wanted is right there. Sometimes you gotta think about that. That's right. What if that wrong is a right? Where's it is? And, and where's those feelings of butterflies, it's just you being nervous because you're getting out your comfort zone. Right. Instead of saying butterflies, it's like it's a warning of like, oh, I should do it. No, whams is just getting out your comfort zone. You don't even know that. You know, because a lot of times we don't even think we're getting, we're getting out of our comfort zone. It's like, no, you're getting out your comfort zone. You're learning something new. You're meeting someone new, like even with people. Oh, I don't know how that feels. That person makes you feel weird. Well, maybe they make you feel weird because they're making you elevate to, to your higher self. To something different. Learning something new about yourself. Exactly. Learning something new about them. Yeah. Is that? Do you think, do you think fear is a, a factor for a lot of things we, we oh, don't do and we hold back? Oh yeah. And I think fear is a beautiful cousin of excitement. I think we should take on fear. I love, I'm not gonna say, I, I mean, I say I love fear because it's one of, no, let me say this. I love fear so everyone can get this correct. I love fear, but I do not like it. Ooh. You know what I mean? What do you mean? There's a big difference. What do you mean? What do you mean? What I mean by love, I mean, I love it because I, I know what the other side looks like. I've been there before. I know what the other side looks like. I don't like it because even though I know what the other side looks like, I don't know, I don't like how I feel when I'm in it. You know what I mean? Yeah, like yeah. I love roller coasters, right? Yeah, yeah. But I hate that boop, 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 And then you go down. I don't like you don't that like that feeling, right, yeah. but I love roller coasters. And I think once you start getting into that realm of like love and like, then it starts becoming a friend. You know, right? So, okay. because once you get to the bottom of the roller coaster, you see that you can accomplish it and that you made it through. Exactly. You, you be wanting the pictures from you. Be like, I hope they had pictures. Yep. You be yep. like, yeah. So that's all you have to say. It's just like you just gotta be like, right. I don't like it, but it's just like having a job, right? You can be like, you know, I love my job, but you know, it'd be like, damn, the work hours. But at the end of the day, when that paycheck come, you be like, mm. happy. Happy. Perfect. Yep. Happy. Yeah, really happy. So that's why I just distinguish those things. Like I love it. I don't like the process sometimes. Right. You know, and that's it. Yeah. The yeah. spirit is good. I know the spirit for me works for me. It makes me it makes me start being like, hmm, what is that? What is that about? You know what I mean? Right. And I think that, you know, the fear and the uncomfortability of a situation is what if we can break through that, that's what leads us to the success. Yeah. That's it. That's definitely yeah, but see, I also love that. But see, I'm a very curious person. So I get a little bit 
Like, I kind of like when I get curious about things. I'd be like, what is that about? <laughs> Tell me more. Let me find out more. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. So, yeah. But fear, I've learned to be like, just, it's natural to me now, like, just do it through fear. You know what I mean? And also, I'm a big person of like, when I really get fearful and it's like starting to give me a little bit of anxiety, I just go to people who've been through it. You know, like, if I'm thinking about doing anything, moving, or I'm trying to make a choice, like, I just, I, I, I go to people that talk about it. I think the more you talk to people about what you're scared about, mm -hmm. the less scared you get because people been there. Right. You know, right. and I think we all have to start talking. You we know, do. Communication. And I think it goes back yeah. to what, what we were like, saying. Communicate. Yeah, communicate that instead of acting like, because when you say it out loud, you release the power that it has over you. Right. And that's you know? what goes back to what you were saying before. That's where you find, you go to a place where you find the peace. You find the peace in it. Find the peace. Because you're like, when you speak it out loud, like, you know what? I don't like this feeling. I don't like that. And when you say that out loud, because I believe words are spelled, you cast that off. You're like, it doesn't have no power you because it's like being kidnapped. Like, oh, I don't want to say it. No, speak it. Like, I don't like this feeling. I don't like this, da, 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 da. When you speak it, it releases something. It's like crying. It cleanses you of like, don't hold captive. You don't hold me captive anymore. Right, and you take that energy you know? and you go forward. You just push yeah. forward. And you hear yourself you hear actually yourself. saying it out loud. Yeah, yeah. You know, I don't know if you do this, but I've no. When I get really frustrated sometimes, I look in the mirror and I'll say exactly what I don't like. I'm like, I don't like that I'm doing this and that. And then I feel, okay, I'm good. Right. You know and what I mean? That's what I do. I take the deep breath. I yeah, take the deep take breath the deep and I breath. release it out and then I go. And I release Let's go. Exactly. And I notice when I speak in the mirror and I say those things, then I can be like, okay, let's write a new plan of like how we need to attack this. You know, I just don't, when I speak things out loud, yo, those things, it helps me so much, you know? Speaking so. things into existence and speaking things out. Out. Like, no, I don't like that. I Cast don't want to do that, mm -hmm. you know? Because when you start speaking what you don't like, what happens is you'd be like, okay, I don't like that. So what do I like? And then this is what I noticed. When you become calm, that's when other um, resources that come into your mind and you be like, oh, okay, I can do this, I can do this. You know what I mean? Because if you think about it, when you're anxious, yeah. you don't have you don't no other, think, yeah. there's nothing, there's no ideas coming when you're nothing. anxious. When you, you get blocked calm, off everything in your mind. Yeah. yeah, and when you get calm, you're like, Oh, I never thought about it that way. Right, because you're oh, okay. forced to make new decisions and how yeah. to approach whatever the, the fear is. The plan starts, you know, right. creating right. itself. Yeah. Hmm. Do you feel like you're, where are you in your life right now? Do you feel like what you've done is successful thus far? Oh, definitely. Oh, definitely. I think a lot of things I even prayed for that I'm here. Yeah. You know, I, I think so, definitely. I mean, I still haven't touched nowhere near the surface that where I'm trying to go. But yeah, I, I do think, like no one can't tell me I'm not successful. I don't care what you're talking about. Right. Because I feel like anybody that meets me, I'm a peaceful woman. I happy. I am very comfortable <laughs> who I am. You know, you, you right, laughing, yeah. you know no, what I'm it's saying? True. I no, love, it's true. It's true. Yeah, so you can't tell me. I mean, I might not live in my dream apartment. I might not have a lot of things. But at the end of the day, I am a happy person. Right. Like, you can't take that away from me. No, and, and, and we keep saying this, but it's 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 the building block of all the things that we've done and the things that you accomplish and the things that yeah. you're going to accomplish. So you're heading to build blocks and taking steps to a result. Right. And does it ever end? Does success ever end? Um, I think, I okay, so I think what, does and you always trying to um prove yourself that you're successful i think you get to a point in life where you're like it is what it is and i love my life and i don't need to prove anything anymore let me just be it's like what you said um let me just be more present you know i think you become more present and i'm trying to get better at being more present 
especially when I'm talking to people. Um, and even talking to you, like just being more present, um, not multitasking, you know what I mean? So mm -hmm. I think, yeah. how about you? What do you think, my love? Uh, I think- You're so yeah. grounded. I'm trying to get where you're at. I, I try to be, but I also, you know, I also want more because I know that there's more that I want to accomplish in my life and it doesn't have to do with me. It has to do with others. My outlook on life is more giving and encompassing things for other people. And in yeah. doing so, I, you know, I feel good. That's successful for me is when I help others. So I guess that's along the lines of being in service, being in service. I've always done service. So me giving and giving and pulling people together and, you know, giving is, is successful to me. I love that. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. We the so I, coffee table book. <laughs> I know, right? So I don't think I'm ever going to, you know, get to the end of mine with that. I think oh, that's just yeah, a, I think I will. Yeah. I know my black tail will probably be swinging in a hammock with grandkids and I don't want to do nothing else. Right. I'm good. And I won't have and the see, need to be like, I need to do another movie. See, another even, even when you do that, if you have all your grandkids there and you have your family there, that's success. That yeah. is, but right. I'm just saying, I wouldn't want anything else. Right, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'd be like, I'm good. I don't want anything else. You know, right. I right. think where I'm at in my life, I'm building to those things. Building, yeah. You know, yeah. like still creating my life. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. I like so. that. So everybody, what do you, let us know what you think about what success hey. is. This was a jamming conversation. We want to know what your idea of success is. Please use the hashtag One Mic Night Talk. Inbox yeah. us at One Mic Night on Instagram. Let us know. And also make sure you write down on the comments what you think success is and any other topics you have for us for the next show. My name is Marcos Luis. I'm Ashley Elizabeth Green. And that's where you can find us. You can find me on IG at Marcos Luis, and you can find her at Ashley Elizabeth Green. On Turn on your notifications on Instagram, y'all. Right, yeah. Make sure you share these podcasts. Make sure you download. Go to the YouTube at One Mic Night and leave us comments. We want to hear what you think. Yes. Live shows coming soon. One Mic Night is spelled O N E M I C N I T E. We'll see you next time. This is One Mic Night Talk. We out.